Booga booga. So, I just saw the new Napoleon movie, directed by Ridley Scott and starring Joaquin Phoenix. Before I get into my review, I wanted to preface my remarks by saying I don't know a whole lot about Napoleon as a historic figure. I know a few things, that's about it. I'm not judging this movie based on the historical accuracy, I'm judging it merely as a piece of film. I went to see this to be entertained, so that's how I'm going to be looking at it. Simply put, this movie is terrible. It's poorly paced with large time jumps that don't give any exposition, all of which leads to a very confusing story at times, with unlikable characters that you just can't care about, and in some cases these characters just get dumped midway through the film. The film begins with Napoleon as a young officer witnessing the atrocities of the French Revolution. Skip ahead four years and he leads the Battle of Tion and gains the rank of General. I'm serious, it really jumps that fast. From here he meets his soon-to-be wife Josephine, which leads to a long marriage filled with stale romance and infidelity. Napoleon then becomes the Emperor of France, he fights the Battle of Austerlitz, he then marches against the Russians, culminating in his defeat and his exile to Elba. Eventually he escapes Elba, finds out Josephine has died, fights the Battle of Waterloo, and is defeated at the hands of the Duke of Wellington. He is again exiled, this time to the island of St. Helen, where he lives out the rest of his days. The weak link in this movie, believe it or not, is Phoenix and he's really the only person I have an issue with. You would think that an actor like Joaquin Phoenix would be able to deliver a solid, nuanced performance. Instead, his Napoleon has a dead look on his face most of the time, intermingled with some random childish outbursts. He seems mostly uncomfortable in the role, bored at times even, forcing himself to produce some level of emotion when the situation calls for it. Ultimately, his performance drags the movie flat. Of course, an actor can only do so much if he doesn't have a strong script. David Scarpa penned the screenplay, and unfortunately, he needs a little more time to hone his skills. Thus far, his most notable contributions to film seem to be a few episodes from The Man in the High Castle and the script for The Day the Earth Stood Still. Perhaps not the best choice for the job. Scarpa tries to fit over two decades of history into a two and a half hour film, at points with major leaps of time jumping forward in a matter of moments, causing a lot of confusion and characters to just drop off the story. Napoleon starts with two brothers and they vanish around 45 minutes in. He also takes on a second wife after divorcing his first wife, Josephine. This second bride goes up in a puff of smoke after one scene about halfway through the movie. Maybe Scarpa will do better with the upcoming Gladiator sequel. Right. The biggest flaw in Ridley Scott's direction is he doesn't know what the point of the story is. Is he telling the story of a tragic hero who sees a world that needs saving? Is he showing the story of two broken lovers? Is he trying to highlight the horrors man inflicts on itself? I have no idea. These concepts are hinted at, but never explicit, which leads to disjointed scenes with awkward hang time between dialogue, and forced emotion on behalf of the actors. I'm not sure where Ridley Scott was on this film. And while I won't pretend that he's the greatest director ever, he's certainly not a bad one either. I mean, we're talking about the guy who directed Alien, Gladiator, and Black Hawk Down. The man who made those movies was not on the set of this film. All in all, this film was not worth the admission price. You're better off waiting for it to come out on Apple TV, or maybe rent it from Redbox if that's still a thing. If you want more amazing content, click on the video below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. <coughs> booga booga.